Welcome to our guest where I am meeting random scouters for the whole of this month. And today I am with... James. James, and you might recognise him from such uh, scoutedelic videos as a U-shaped one uh, a year ago. And he is also a Worcester Explorer. Hey, I got it right first time. And today we're doing the Explorer Science and Technology badge. Um, obviously being an Explorer, you've probably got this. Not yet. Oh, not yet. I like that. I like that thinking. So we're going to do the Constellation Challenge. The idea is very simple. We have had someone else, so I can't cheat, draw just the stars of a constellation. With our pens, we have got to obviously draw what that constellation should be. So for Orion's belt, for example, there would be three stars, and we would obviously just draw a belt and name it as Orion. If we are rubbish and actually don't understand or know what um, the constellation is in front of us, we've got to be inventive with the stars and what we can draw, okay? Are you good with constellations? No. This will be great, because I am. Uh, <laughs> win one. Uh, right, so we've got four constellations. I haven't seen them, so I don't know, and I have told them to be difficult. So I know most of the main ones, but they might have gone far and few between, all right? So our first one is this one. Okay. I don't have a clue straight away, if that helps. They look like butterflies on my paper. Uh, so, we've got to connect the dots and make it into something, okay? So whatever you picture, go for it, all right? We've got 30 seconds to draw, and then we've got to explain what we've why we've chosen that, okay? Yeah? All right. Off we go then, 30 seconds, go. Ooh, I'm gonna, that's a... So, um, I went for a snake, and I was going to go uh, the snake of serendipity, because I thought I knew the serendipity, but I didn't know it was a snake, so snake of serendipity. Um, and what is yours? Um, I thought mine was a duck. Okay, a duck, the, 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 the famous duck uh, constellation that everyone should know about. Does that have Daffy. a name? Is um, it just... No clue. No clue, it's just the duck. Daffy. Okay, Daffy the duck. You've been watching too much uh, Lost in Space, uh, they film. Um, so, I've gone with the snake, you've gone with the duck. What was the actual answer? It was Scorpio. Okay, so it was Scorpio, which is the... Um, Scorpion. Scorpion, yeah. Okay, um, I didn't get that. Mine started with an S. So, I don't know if I get the point there or what, but you know, I'm, I'm, I may be trying to make that as a victory for me, but I do like the duck. Oh, so our second one looks like this. Um, ooh, I've got an idea already. I don't know about you, but I've got an idea about it. Okay, so our 30 seconds, are you ready? Yeah? Start now. Time's up. Hey! <laughs> so do you want to explain yours? Because yours looks intriguing. It's a rock. It's a rock. Okay. Everyone obviously can see the rock on the sky. That, in, in my eyes, that looks a bit like an envelope. I would have gone with an envelope there. Um, my, I've gone with the, uh, the dragonfly, known, known as David. David the dragonfly. You know, I think... Uh, it works really well. Um, it brightens up the sky like dragonflies do. Uh, what was the actual answer of 
It was Aquarius. Aquarius, the water carrier. <laughs> yeah, I would never have got that. Um, ooh, ooh, this one looks like a W. Okay. Right. Are you ready? You got no. an idea. You haven't got an idea in your head. No. Okay. All right. Um, right. Thirty seconds. Then go. Okay, so, shall I go first? Yeah. So I thought that the W was could be turned upside down and turned into a crown. Um, and uh, there is one like this already. And I feel that this could be the one. Um, uh, but I can't remember the name of the actual... Um, constellation but it would be a crown um, I think it's Cassiopeia um, and therefore that's her head and that's the crown so that's why I'm going with that one I think it's Cassiopeia so what I you... think mine's like a golf club but okay. if you turn it upside down it looks like a flag oh so you're going flag or golf club um golf club you're going golf club and I'm going Cassiopeia the queen the crown so what was the answer the answer was Capricorn. Oh! But James has drawn it absolutely spot on. Really? Yeah, but obviously it's not a golf club. It's not a crown, are you sure? It's not a, a crown or an upside down crown. <laughs> so, so far, the golf club versus the crown. Okay, let's see, we've got one more. You never know. This could, this could be the one. This could be the one. Wow. Okay. This is it. Okay. I have no clue on this one whatsoever. I have an idea, but I've got no clue whatsoever. I don't know. All right, okay. I, think. I, I, I think I know what I want to do. I want to flip it on its side. But right, okay. 30 seconds then. Go. Hands up. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I'll let, let you explain yours, I think, first, because that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, mine's a person. Okay. Does she have a name? No. Okay. She's just, she's just a woman in the sky. Yeah. Okay. I went for a boxing glove at the sides, you know, pow, kapow. You know, it's more like a light bulb. Oh, it could be a balloon. Oh, uh, whoopee cushion. Or oh, wrecking ball. <laughs> Came in like a looks, wrecking ball. Looks like a um, a science beaker. Yeah. I can't that. See, now that you could have many interpretations of what I actually drew right now, um, but the right answer was <laughs> Taurus. Taurus the woman or Taurus the boxing man? <laughs> so hard to decide between really? those two. They are both fantastic efforts. <laughs> she says, so if you thought that I drew some very creative, very imaginative and amazing drawings, then please comment below on the video uh, that you're watching right now. However, if you think that my competitor here actually did better than me, I will see you again for another all guest. Goodbye.